sometimes we do have water, but when they cut off, it normally be for like two to three weeks or one week or a couple of days. What more reports of agonizing living conditions for Grand Turk residents are being cited and this time it has a lot to do with the island's water system. Residents of the embattled island say they are fed up and battling with public works officials in Grand Turk to mend an ongoing problem in relation to water. Officials in a telephone conversation with News 4 stated that they are trying to fix the island's water crisis. However, residents say that they have gotten little to no response from public work officials and that the shortage of water for the more than 7,000 residents of the island happens a lot. No we wait for the water to come on. We, and when it do come on, we fill up bottles and buckets or whatever we have in the house. We fill up, we fill it up. So when the water cut off, and we start to be and cook. It ain't like they doing nothing about it. It's not happening. Everybody comes goes on the, or RTC and complains about it and still nothing else. I think they ain't do nothing about it. News 4 spoke with Permanent Secretary for the Department of Public Works. Michelle Gardner vehemently denied that the water situation is still happening and said that the lack of water is due to technical problems within the department. Gardner said that Public Works was in need of a simple piece of equipment, which it ordered from the U.S. and is on its way to Grand Turk. Gardner did not return News 4's request for a formal interview, however stated that she was in a meeting and that the situation had been dealt with with. News 4 will keep you updated on the water shortage and what Public Works is doing to fix it in an upcoming newscast. For WIV4 News, I'm Angie Toussaint.